Whitney Houston grew up in a musical family. Her mother, Sissy Houston, was a gospel singer, and her cousin, Dionne Warwick, was also a famous singer. With this background, Whitney was around music from a young age. She started singing in the church choir and learned to play the piano. Her mother was a significant influence, guiding her singing through her early years. By the time she was a teenager, Whitney was performing with her mother and trying to find her own style. She also had the chance to work with other musical greats like Aretha Franklin, who was her godmother. These experiences shaped her as a singer and performer, leading her to a successful career in music. Whitney Houston was a singer and actress known for her powerful voice and hit songs. She became famous in the 1980s and 1990s. Her first album, released in 1985, had songs that many people loved and still listen to today. Now, think back to when you first heard of Whitney Houston. What year was it, and how did her music make you feel? Also, try to remember the first song or movie of hers that you experienced. Was it her singing, I Will Always Love You, or her role in The Bodyguard? We're curious about your favorite memory of Whitney Houston. Maybe you have a story about the first time you heard her sing or a special moment her music helped you through. So share your stories and memories with us in the comments. We'd love to hear them. Stay tuned because we have many surprising and touching facts about Whitney Houston's life to share with you. Keep watching to learn more about her journey, her successes, and the challenges she faced. Whitney Houston found her love for singing at a young age in the church choir singing gospel music at New Hope Baptist Church in Newark, New Jersey, where her mother, Sissy Houston, led the music ministry, was a significant influence. By the age of 11, Whitney was performing as a soloist in the Junior Gospel Choir, and her powerful voice was already hinting at her future success. Her mother's guidance in music and the inspiration from her cousin, Dionne Warwick, and her godmother, Aretha Franklin, were pivotal in shaping her early passion for music. Whitney's upbringing in a musical family where singing was a daily part of life played a crucial role in her journey towards becoming a celebrated singer. Whitney Houston was a singer who brought joy to many people with her voice. She was born in 1963 and started singing in a church choir in New Jersey. Whitney became famous in the 1980s and 1990s with songs that many people loved. Her voice was strong and clear and she could sing very high notes. Whitney acted in movies too and her song, I Will Always Love You from the movie, The Bodyguard is still popular. She won many awards for her music. Whitney passed away in 2012, but her songs are still played today and many singers look up to her. She showed that with talent and hard work, a person can become a great artist. Whitney Houston's music will always be remembered because it made people feel happy and inspired. Whitney Houston faced many challenges when she started her music career she grew up in a family with strong musical talents but had little money. People in the music business did not believe she would succeed at first. They thought her style was too different and would not be popular. Whitney did not give up. She worked hard and used her amazing voice to win over fans. She also made smart choices about her songs and who she worked with. This helped her become a star despite the tough start. Whitney showed that talent and hard work can beat doubts in tough times. Whitney Houston, a celebrated singer, achieved significant success in the music industry. She was recognized as one of the top women in rock and roll, holding the 61st spot on a VH1 list. Her talent and popularity were evident as she had three albums, each selling more than 9 million copies. These albums were her self-titled debut, a follow-up named after herself, and the soundtrack for a popular film where she also acted. Additionally, her energetic song about wanting to dance with a loved one gained wide acclaim, securing a place among the top dance songs on VH1. Whitney Houston's achievements reflect her strong presence in the music scene, and her songs continue to be enjoyed by many. Whitney Houston's career had several key moments that stood out. Her debut album in 1985 was a major success, setting her on the path to stardom. The single I Will Always Love You became her signature song and one of the best-selling singles of all time. Her role in the Bodyguard movie showed her talent as an actress and singer. Her performance of the Star Spangled Banner at the Super Bowl in 1991 was praised for its emotional power and vocal skill. These achievements showed her ability to reach new heights in music and film. Friends, critics, and fellow artists saw her as a gifted singer with a voice that could express deep feelings and connect with people everywhere. Her music and movies continued to be loved by fans around the world. 
Whitney Houston was honored and remembered in a service at the New Hope Baptist Church in Newark, New Jersey. She was then buried next to her father in Westfield, New Jersey. Her voice touched many through her music, especially with the soundtrack of The Preacher's Wife, which became the most sold gospel album ever. It topped the gospel charts for 26 weeks. Her powerful rendition of I Will Always Love You became so popular that it was featured on a news show because people heard it everywhere. This song's reach shows how much her music was loved. Whitney Houston approached her music with a deep emotional connection, often drawing from her own life experiences to bring authenticity to her performances. Her gospel roots played a significant role in shaping her vocal style, which was known for its power and emotional range. Houston's upbringing in a musical family helped her develop a natural affinity for soulful melodies and storytelling through song. Her personal struggles and triumphs were mirrored in her music, allowing listeners to connect with her on a personal level. This genuine quality and her ability to convey the depth of human emotion in her music made her style stand out in the music industry. Whitney Houston, a celebrated singer, had a school named after her, the Whitney E. Houston Academy, in her hometown of East Orange, New Jersey. She had the chance to act in the TV show Glee as Grace Hitchens, but chose not to take the role, which then went to the performer Eve. Whitney Houston's first two albums were very popular in the United Kingdom, staying on the charts for more than 100 weeks. Her first album did very well and reached second place, but it was her second album that really stood out, taking the top spot from Simple Minds and staying ahead of Marillion, remaining number one for six weeks straight. Whitney Houston was a singer with a powerful voice and a wide range of songs. She was known for her ability to sing different styles of music, including pop, soul, and gospel. Her singing had a big effect on other artists and the music industry. She showed that a singer could have success across different music charts and audiences. Many singers look up to her and try to sing like her. Experts in music say she had a unique way of singing that made people feel strong emotions. Her songs often told stories that many could connect with. She also appeared in movies, showing how a singer can also be a good actor. Whitney Houston made it clear that with talent and hard work, a singer can achieve great things and touch the hearts of many. Her music continues to be loved and listened to by people all over the world. Whitney Houston started her career in front of the camera as a fashion model. Her striking looks landed her on the covers of magazines like Seventeen and Glamour. It was not long before her singing talent took center stage. She shared her life with her daughter, Bobby Christina Brown, and her ex-husband, Bobby Brown. Whitney's journey from modeling to music left a lasting mark on both industries. Whitney Houston was known for her love of family and her faith. She grew up singing in a church choir, which shaped her as a person and an artist. Her work often reflected her belief in love and the strength of the human spirit. Houston was also known for her generosity. She founded the Whitney Houston Foundation for Children, a nonprofit organization that cared for homeless children, children with cancer, and those affected by AIDS. She believed in using her voice not just to sing, but to speak out for those who needed help. Her passion for helping children and her dedication to her family were as much a part of her legacy as her music. Whitney Houston, a celebrated singer, faced personal tragedies alongside her professional achievements. Her daughter, Bobby Christina Brown, tragically died at 22 years old after six months in a coma, following an incident eerily similar to her mother's. Houston herself was found unresponsive in her hotel room and later declared dead, marking a somber day in music history. Despite these sorrows, Houston was once celebrated as one of the most beautiful people, a testament to her presence and influence beyond her music. Whitney Houston was a talented singer and performer who left a strong impression on the music industry. Her voice and songs reached many people and inspired countless artists. She showed that with hard work and dedication, one can achieve great success. For those starting in music, she would advise practicing regularly, believing in oneself, and never giving up on dreams. It's important to learn from others, but also to find one's unique voice and style. Staying true to oneself and being respectful to others in the industry can lead to a rewarding career in music. Whitney Houston's journey shows that talent combined with passion can lead to a lasting legacy. Whitney Houston, a celebrated singer, achieved an unmatched record in the music industry with seven straight number one songs in the 1980s. 
Her single, I Will Always Love You, topped the Billboard's Hot 100 chart for 14 weeks, a testament to her talent and popularity. Her debut album, named after herself, became the top-selling first album by a female artist, with sales surpassing 24 million. Family was also a significant part of her life. She grew up with her two brothers, Michael and Gary Houston. Whitney Houston's achievements in music are a clear reflection of her extraordinary ability and her lasting influence on the industry. Whitney Houston's journey in music was driven by her love for singing and her ability to innovate in her performances. She broke records and inspired many with her voice. Her songs continue to inspire and bring joy to people all over the world. Whitney showed us that with talent, creativity, and hard work, one can achieve greatness and leave a lasting memory in the hearts of many. Her story encourages us to keep going, no matter the challenges, and to believe in the power of our dreams. Whitney Houston, a celebrated singer, had deep musical roots. She was related to David Elliott and Damon Elliott, both of whom have their own accomplishments in music. Her name was inspired by Whitney Blake, an actress known for her work on television. In a confusing incident on September 14, 2001, some media mistakenly reported that Houston had passed away. However, this was not true, and her representative clarified the error, ensuring fans that she was alive and well. This event showed how quickly false news can spread and the importance of verifying facts. Whitney Houston, a celebrated singer, had Darlene Love as her godmother. Love's influence was evident in Houston's soulful performances. Houston's personal favorite movie was Sparkle, released in 1976, which inspired her so much that she starred in and produced a remake in 2012 alongside Jordan Sparks. This remake holds a bittersweet place in history as it was Houston's final film appearance. Despite her talent, Houston faced a setback early in her career when she was excluded from the Best New Artist category at the Grammy Awards. The reason was her background vocals on a Jermaine Jackson single before her own album debut. This decision sparked debate, especially since other nominees and some winners had been in the music industry for a long time. Houston's journey, marked by both dazzling highs and challenging lows, reflects the unpredictable nature of the music industry. Whitney Houston, a celebrated singer, faced personal challenges alongside her professional achievements. She was recognized as the 24 sexiest artist by VH1 and touched many with her song, I Will Always Love You from the Bodyguard, which holds the 65th spot on the American Film Institute's Greatest Songs list. Despite her success, Houston experienced personal loss with three miscarriages during her time with Bobby Brown. These events marked a contrast between her public acclaim and private struggles. Whitney Houston, a celebrated singer, was once part of the Brown family through marriage. She faced a tough challenge during childbirth and had to undergo an emergency cesarean section to deliver her daughter, Bobby Christina Brown, after a long labor. In her music career, Whitney made history with her song, Where Do Broken Hearts Go?, reaching number one in April 1988. This achievement marked her as the first artist to have seven consecutive number one singles on the Billboard charts, a record she proudly holds to this day. Whitney Houston's rendition of the Star Spangled Banner at the Super Bowl in 1991 became a hit, reaching number 20 on the charts, especially during the Gulf War. It gained attention again in 2001, reaching number 6 after the September 11 attacks. Although Whitney Houston is well known for her song, The Greatest Love of All, it was George Benson who first recorded it for the movie The Greatest in 1977. After having her daughter, Bobby Christina Brown, Whitney Houston returned to the stage in just four months to start the Bodyguard World Tour, where she performed songs from her first movie, The Bodyguard, released in 1992. Whitney Houston's song Exhale was a significant hit, staying at number one for a week and then at number two for 11 weeks, setting a record for the longest time in that position on the Hot 100 chart. At the young age of 21, Whitney achieved a milestone in her career by winning her first Grammy Award for the song Saving All My Love For You, which was handed to her by her cousin Dionne Warwick and musician Julian Lennon during the ceremony. Whitney's early life also saw a big change when her family decided to move from Newark to East Orange, New Jersey after unrest in Newark, providing her with a different environment to grow up in. Whitney Houston's song, I Will Always Love You stands as a towering achievement in music history. It's not just the top-selling single by a female artist, it's also the most successful non-charity single ever, 
reaching nearly 9 million sales globally. Her voice, spanning three two octaves, was a powerful mezzo-soprano, showcasing her incredible vocal abilities. Beyond her musical talents, Whitney Houston was close to joining the cast of The Cosby Show as Sandra Huxtable. However, the role ultimately went to Sabrina LeBeouf, who had more experience in theater. Whitney Houston's journey in music and entertainment shows her diverse talents and the opportunities she encountered along the way. Whitney Houston, a celebrated singer, has a school named in her honor. The Whitney E. Houston School of Creative and Performing Arts, located in her birthplace of East Orange, New Jersey, stands as a tribute to her legacy. It was once called Franklin School, but was renamed in 1997 to reflect her influence in the arts. Whitney Houston also achieved significant success in her music career, with 14 of her singles earning gold status in the United States. This achievement places her second only to Madonna in terms of gold singles among female artists. Throughout her career, she worked closely with Clive Davis, the founder and president of Arista Records. He played a pivotal role as her manager and trusted advisor, guiding her through many professional milestones. Whitney Houston stepped into acting with a role in the TV show Katie's College, where she played Rita, a friend of the main character. This was before she became widely known for her singing. In 1987, she broke new ground with her album Whitney, which was the first album by a female artist to start at number one on the Billboard charts. Whitney also had a family life with three stepchildren named Landon, LaPrincia, and Bobby Brown Jr., each born in 1986, 1990, and 1992, respectively. These aspects of her life show her early career versatility and personal life commitments. Whitney Houston grew up in a family with strong musical roots. Her mother, Sissy Houston, contributed her voice to the music industry as a background singer for the legendary Elvis Presley. This musical influence was a part of Whitney's life from an early age. Years later, Whitney's talent and contributions to music and entertainment were recognized when she, along with her cousin Dionne Warwick, were honored by being inducted into the New Jersey Hall of Fame in 2013. Their induction celebrated their achievements and influence in the arts. In a separate incident, on January 11, 2000, Whitney and her husband Bobby Brown faced a challenging situation when security guards in Hawaii found marijuana in their luggage. Despite this, they were allowed to continue their travel plans without delay. Whitney Houston was born in the evening at 8.55 p.m. She grew up in a musical family, with her mother Sissy Houston influencing her as a gospel blues singer. Throughout her life, Whitney Houston held firm to her political beliefs as a Democrat, reflecting her values and perspectives in her life and music. Her voice and talent led her to become one of the most celebrated singers, leaving a lasting impression on fans and the music industry. Whitney Houston, a celebrated singer, achieved an unmatched feat in the music industry by winning 26 American Music Awards more than any other artist. Her success in music was mirrored by her personal life, where she shared a close bond with her family, including her cousins Dionne Warwick and Dee Dee Warwick. Whitney's personal life also saw her in a relationship with Ray J, which lasted from 26 to 27, and then again from 29 until her untimely passing in 2012. Her legacy in music and her personal connections continue to be remembered by fans around the world. Whitney Houston, a talented singer, faced an unexpected moment during a live show when she stumbled on a step and her bra strap broke. Despite this, she carried on with her performance, showing her professionalism. In another instance, not long before she passed away, Whitney was at a rehearsal for Monica and Brandy's show. Unbeknownst to Brandy, Whitney had organized a surprise birthday celebration for her that very evening. Whitney also shared close friendships with fellow artists Deborah Cox, Loretta Devine, and Vivica A. Fox, highlighting her warm relationships within the music and acting communities. Whitney Houston was closely connected to her family in her music career. Her brother Gary Houston, her niece Rhea Houston, and her sister-in-law and manager Patricia Houston played significant roles in her life. She reached a milestone with the soundtrack of The Bodyguard, which became the biggest selling soundtrack ever, with sales surpassing 37 million copies worldwide. It's also known as the top selling album by a female artist. Her unexpected death just before the 54th Grammy Awards led to a heartfelt tribute by the host LL Cool J, who honored her memory with a prayer at the start of the ceremony. 
Whitney Houston, a talented singer with a powerful voice, faced a tragic end. Despite her success, she struggled with personal issues that led to her untimely death. In 2012, she was found in a hotel bathtub, having accidentally drowned due to heart problems and substance use. Her death was a loss to music and to all who loved her songs. Whitney Houston's songs and performances have touched many hearts. Her voice and music have a special place in the history of entertainment. We invite you to share your favorite memories of Whitney Houston's music and how her songs have influenced you. Your stories help keep her memory alive and inspire others. If you enjoy remembering the great artists who have shaped music and entertainment, please like this video, share it with friends, and subscribe for more content that celebrates these talented individuals. Your support helps us bring more stories and memories to you. Share your thoughts in the comments below.